Okay, this video is a scan on systems, but now we're going to use a different method called elimination. So instead of plugging one variable in for another, we're going to look to see, okay, can we get two variables of the same value, for instance, 3x, but one positive, one negative. So when you combine them together, they cancel each other out. For instance, 3x plus negative 3x cancel each other out, and the x's disappear. So again, the whole purpose is to eliminate a variable to get down to one variable, one equation, okay? So let's take a look here at some examples of what we want to do, okay? So let's take a look here. If we combine these two equations, here's equation one, here's equation two. Notice the x values over here. We have a 2x and a negative 2x. So then if I say, okay, I want to add these two equations together, and you could do that, you could always combine things together. 2x plus a negative 2x is 0x, so notice they cancel each other out, and that's good. So then we say, okay, let's add the rest of it. 3y plus 5y is 8y, and then we have 11 plus 13 is 24, okay? We can do this because um, they're directly opposite, and now we have one equation with one variable. This is nice because usually it makes the equation smaller and easier to deal with, so now we say, okay, let's solve for y. We simply divide by 8 and y is equal to 3. So again, our answer is always an ordered pair. So since we solve for y first, put in the y position, now I've got to solve for x. So now I'm going to take either one of the equations, let's pick one of them, and solve for x. So I know what y is, so I'm going to plug in 3 for y, and now we again have one equation with one variable, x right here. So we're going to solve for x. So we have 2x plus 9. Um, move the 9 to the other side of the equation. 2x is equal to 2. Finally divide, and x is equal to 1. Okay, So our ordered pair is 1, 3. And again, you can take both those values, plug them in for x and y, and it will check out for both of them, and we can see that we've done that correctly. Okay, Now, in this example over here, notice we want to look, okay, would it make sense to use elimination of wood? Because what we have here is 3y and 3y. So they're the same value, but we want them to cancel out because if I add them right now, we're going to get 6y. So what we want to do is, if in order to make this negative, we have to multiply the entire equation by negative 1. So I'm going to rewrite that as, um, let's do it off to the side here. Distribute negative 1 times everything. Negative 1 times 5x is negative 5x. Um, minus 3y. And do it to the other side of the equation, too. Negative times a negative 2 is positive 2. Now what we do is keep the top equation the same. We didn't touch that. Okay. Now notice that if we look at the y values, they're going to cancel each other out. And that's exactly what we want to happen. So now we're going to add the two equations together. So 4 plus a negative 5 is negative 1x. Those cancel each other out. And we get 4 on this side. Get rid of that negative by dividing it out. And x is equal to negative 4. Okay. So we have negative 4 comma something. Now I'm going to take one of the equations and substitute the x value, and we're going to solve for y. So notice how I leave the x blank. I'm going to take that negative 4 and plug it in right there. And solve for y. y is the only thing left. So I'm going to move the 16 to the other side of the equation. 3y is equal to 18. Divide by 3. And once again, y is equal to 6. Okay. So that's the answer to the system right there. Okay, so the whole goal is to eliminate. Now let's go through another example here. And in order for this to happen, notice we have to get things lined up. So notice the equal signs here and it's over here. So we need to get in standard form x, y, and the numbers. So we need to get the x to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to add x to the other side of the equation, put it in standard form. So we have 3x minus 4y now equals 14, okay, x, y, 14. So now let's take a look here. We get the x's first and then the y's, and that's exactly what we want. So now I'm going to take this equation, not change it, just put it down here. So we have 8x minus 4y equals negative 4, OK? 
Okay, so before we start, notice now we have to have the x's and y's stacked up. So there's the x, there's the y. Now, what would make sense to do elimination? Let's take a look. We want to have these cancel out, so I want to change that to a positive. So I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1 and go through and switch the signs. Negative 8x, positive 4y, positive 4. And all I did was I multiplied by negative 1, and that caused everything to switch to signs. Now when I add it up, 3 minus 8 is negative 5x. Those cancel, and then we have um, 18 right here. Okay, and that's what we want. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to divide by negative 5. And x is equal to, we're going to reduce this, we're going to divide both numbers by 3. So, oh, actually we can't reduce it, so we're just going to leave it as 18 fifths negative. Okay, um, of course this doesn't work out really well, but that's okay, not everything works out as a nice clean answer. So our answer is negative 18 fifths, comma, and then something else, so I'm going to pick out an equation, 8 times... 18 fifths minus 4y equals negative 4. I'm going to multiply this out. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clear a fraction. I'm going to multiply everything by 5. So notice that it cancels with this. So we have 8 times negative 18 minus 20y equals negative 20. Now when I distribute that, um, Oh, that's going to be negative 144. Okay, I just used my calculator for that. And I'm going to add 144 to the other side. And we have negative 20 equals um, positive 124. Last thing is divide by negative 20. Okay, I ran out of room. Let's do it over here. Again, this is a much longer problem, but just to show you that not everything works out nice and simply, so this is a little bit more challenging of a problem. And I'm going to divide by negative 20. And y is equal to, uh, let's see here, this can be reduced down to, I'm going to take a 2 out of both the top and bottom, so that's 62 divided by negative 10. And reduce again, take an R2 out, so we're going to have 31 divided by negative 5. Okay. Now, this is a great example to show that sometimes we're going to get ugly answers, but totally solvable. So it's good to go through an example to show that um, we can finish the problem even with the fraction format here. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and have you try this one here. Okay. Actually, let's uh, look at this on the next slide here. Okay. So the next thing we want to look at as part of this topic is what if the numbers don't really cancel each other out. So let's take a look here at this example. If we want to eliminate something, we have to think, okay, how can we, does 5 and 3 cancel? No. Does 6 and 2 cancel? No. But we're thinking, okay, what if we made them, this one, into a negative 6? So let's multiply everything by negative 3. If we do that, negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x, and you have to distribute to everything and even to the other side of the equation. Now, I'm going to take the top equation, rewrite it below. All I'm doing is copying down exactly what the top says. Now we're able to say, okay, now look at those two. Now they're both negative and positive 6x. Okay, so sometimes we have to multiply in order for to make these match up. So now we say, okay, let's go through and those cancel. Add these up, we get negative 4y, and we get positive 4 here. Divide by negative 4, and y is equal to negative 1. So again, that's the y value, so it goes in the y position. I'm going to take one of the equations, it doesn't matter which one, I'm going to pick that one. And we're solving for x, so we know what y is, so I'm going to plug negative 1 in for y. All I did was take the top equation and rewrite it right there, and I plugged negative 1 in for y. You can see that right there. So 6x minus 5 
equals 19. Uh, add 5. 6x is equal to 24. Divide by 6, and x is equal to 4. So that's the answer right here. Okay. Um, so let's go through here, and let's go through number 2. And what I'm going to do is give myself a little bit more room. And this is a great example of what to go through. A little more room. Okay, there we go. So the first thing I want to do is get the x's and y's on the same side. So I see x and y, so I need to get the x on the left-hand side of the equal sign. So then those equal signs don't line up. We first always have to get things lined up. So I'm going to minus 3x from both sides. Rewrite it, and we have negative 3x first, then 2y equals negative 9. So all I did was put it in standard form. Now when I rewrite the top equation, it lines up. The x is coming first, then the y's, and then the numbers. Okay. So again, what I'm looking for is, do the x's line up, do the y's line up, and do the numbers line up? Okay. And now that it does, we can go through and say, okay, what do we have to do here? Okay. Now in this case, notice 3 and 4 really don't match up in 2 and 5. Okay. Now 3 and 4, one's positive, one's negative. So we say, what's the number that 3 and 4 both goes into? 12. Okay. So if we can get negative 12x and a positive 12x, they're going to cancel each other out. So that would be a good thing to do. So what we're going to do is multiply the top equation by positive 4 and the bottom equation by positive 3. And we're going to rewrite them. Okay. So we'll distribute to 4. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12x. 4 times 2y is 8y. 4 times negative 9 is negative 36. Okay, down here, 3 times 4 is 12x. 3 times 5 is 15y. And 3 times 35 is 105. Okay, just use your calculator as needed. Now, notice these are going to cancel out. This is going to be uh, 23y. And this one here is, again, I'm going to use my calculator. Sixty-nine. Okay. Divide by twenty-three. And nice thing is, what you do is notice how everything drops out, and the, the final equation is pretty simple to deal with. And sixty-nine divided by twenty-three, very simply, is three. Okay. So we know our answer is something comma three. So now I'm going to take one of the equations. Now again, it doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to take uh, this one here. This number's a little smaller, and we have two y equals three x minus 9. And we know y is 3, so plug 3 in for y. So 6 equals 3x minus 9. Add 9 to both sides of the equation. And we get 15 is equal to 3x. Divide by 3, and x is going to equal 5. Okay, So 5 comma 3. So again, notice these problems have a lot going on for one problem. But again, we're solving for 2 two different things at the same time. And this is a great example to show how elimination can do that. All right, what I want you to work on is uh, these two examples here. Now these, again, uh, things should cancel out a little bit easier. And then in this example here, you have to do a little bit more multiplication and a little more rearranging in order to get that solved.